Alright guys, welcome to your 19th UDK tutorial, which is basically an extension of our last tutorial. We just got to finish up editing a few surface properties on our house, which is kind of looking like a courthouse now. But the very first thing I want to do is I want to edit these grates right here because they aren't really looking all that great. Get it? Great grates? Well, anyways, go ahead and select this one and this one holding your control key. And now, actually, I put the same material on the back. So if you go ahead to the back, we can see we can select those as well and do everything in one shebang. So go ahead and open up your Surface Properties window by hitting F5. And the very first thing I want to do to us is I want to apply planar alignment. This is basically just going to make sure everything's lined up. And now what I want to do is I want to set the scale to 1, which is the default scale. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but 1 is your default scale. If it's 0.5, it's going to be half the normal size. If it's 2.0, it's going to be twice the normal size. And I actually like the look of that real quick. <clears throat> oh, I got like a frog in my throat or something. So now all I want to do is I want to take this metal edge and align it with the bottom. Because if a construction company were to put this great roof in, they would actually probably do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and pan this down until it hits right on the bottom maybe one more that looks pretty good so now let me go ahead and X out my surface properties and I just want to verify that the back and the front indeed do look the same pretty cool huh so now the only other thing I want to change when we're talking about surface properties is the inside walls of our house so let's go ahead and look at these walls real quick they look pretty dumb that's the best I can describe it I mean no one's inside of their house looks like this so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting all of these walls however in order to do that what we need to do is we need to hold down control and we need to select all of these manually because there really isn't a shortcut for doing this since it's such a specific area we can't select all adjacent walls or else that's going to select like the outside too so let me just go ahead and do this manually make sure you get all the insides of your windows control control and now let me just go ahead and make sure you hold down control because if you let it go it's gonna deselect everything else and you're gonna probably cuss your head off so now I got everything selected that I needed to even the inside of my windows and doors and check it out the very first thing I want to do is open up my surface properties window and make sure to apply a planar alignment so when you do that everything gets kind of lined up nicely so your inside of your windows line up with your walls and so on and so forth the next thing I want to do is change the scale so in order to change the scale go ahead and drop this down and I actually want to pump it up real big and go ahead and hit apply and this gives you kind of the nice illusion that like you know how some people wallpaper their house and they have trim well this is kinda looks like trim now rather than you know when we had it 0.5 or 1.0 this doesn't really look like a wall at all this gives us the illusion that yes it indeed is a perfectly wallpapered wall so now the only thing that we really need to do is pan this vertically so in order to do that I actually want this strip to be on top I think that will look pretty cool so when we pan it vertically it pans down by default so go ahead and hold shift and pan it up and let me just pan this up slowly until the top butts right up against the top of that so now without getting out of my surface properties window I can verify that my house inside does look pretty dang good and I see my bottom isn't lining up but that's not really an issue say that's uh you know the new style not to have your bottom line up or something like that so that's basically all I want to do with surface properties for right now in the next tutorial I don't know what we're gonna be covering but trust me it's gonna be amazing and we're probably gonna be making our house look a whole lot better so for now that's all you guys get that's all I want to cover with surface properties again those are the main things I want to talk about the lighting channels and the light mass settings I'll talk about light mass and I'll cover lights in a whole nother tutorial but for now these are the basics of how you can adjust the core properties of your materials so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial